Hi, my name is Mark. So this video is kind of a continuation on a video I did almost a year ago. It's called how to make scales and create new licks. Because even though I'm going to briefly mention what I talked about in that video, in that video not only do I explain the concept, but I kind of give you one or two licks that I use quite a lot that I think you should check out if you haven't already. And this video is going to be pretty much the same sort of a thing, but it's going to be a different sort of lick and how you can make those sorts of licks yourself with whichever scales you want to mix. This is the lick we're talking about today. <laughs> And I'm going to slow it down, show you some tabs, and then I'll break it up so that we can understand my thought process behind it. To be honest, in a way, it was kind of inspired by one of those Bet You Can Play This videos. Surprisingly enough, one of Marty Friedman's videos. So let's talk about mixing scales and creating new licks part two. But before you get into it, I just want to say, please subscribe to my channel. You're probably aware that YouTube's been acting a little bit weird lately. Even if you subscribe to a channel, those channel's videos may really not show up in our subscription box. And even if you ring the little notification bell thingy below, you still really will not be notified of that channel's content. So if you want to see them to my content or the content of your favorite creators, you really should subscribe and turn on all the notifications. And since that may or may not work, I highly suggest you follow me on social media. Not only do I post some exclusive stuff there, like improvised solos and jamming over backing tracks, and generally whatever I'm up to at the moment, but I always post there about my videos. Links for the usual suspects will be below, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, even though I don't really post much on Twitter, but in general, at Mark Henrik Shutar. And since you're down there, please consider leaving a like, and share this video on social media, I'd highly appreciate it. So yeah, I guess now we can get straight into it. Okay, so let's check out the lick again, but this time with some tabs. And then a little bit slower, also with tabs. <laughs> Okay, so if you weren't able to figure out, the lick is sort of around A minor. And as I mentioned before, this lick is kind of inspired by a Marty Friedman bet she can play this lick. I don't really remember how that lick goes, I think it was something like... Something that kind of bridged pentatonic positions. I don't really remember when I thought of this lick, but I clearly remember that when I did it, I was thinking to myself, okay, let's make something like that where we can kind of bridge pentatonic positions, but then let's also add some tuplets. So the first part is kind of in regular eighth notes or sixteenth notes, depending on the tempo. Then we move to six tuplets, kind of making it a little bit more interesting rhythmically. It's not just sixteenth notes or just six tuplets. It kind of sounds a little bit different. I also mix the pentatonic scale with the Hungarian minor scale, which for those who don't know, it's my favorite scale. And it basically started with me just messing around with the A minor pentatonic scale. And I was like, okay, that sounds cool. But doing that little slide at really fast speeds can be kind of freaky. So I said, okay, what if I play it on the next string? And that's cool because I need to change strings. And that forces me to practice my cross picking. Which I don't really like cross picking because I find cross picking really hard. So I just started practicing. Which still now, it's still just minor pentatonic blues scale stuff. There's no Hungarian minor stuff yet. If you do it with a little bit more rhythm. And the second part is pretty similar. We go down a string and a tone up and we do the same box. And remember, we're still in our A minor pentatonic. And we go D, E, G, A. And then after it, we do D, E, G, A, B, C. So very slowly. And it's pretty much all pentatonic. The only note we're adding right now this is the B, which is the ninth. And the B, that ninth, is in most minor scales, it's in the Dorian scale. It's in the Aeolian scale. And it's actually in the Hungarian minor scale. But we're still not using our Hungarian minor scale to mix it in, because if we do, we would end up with some sort of like like this. You know, we would need to add that G sharp in there from the Hungarian minor scale. 
Mm -hmm. And I just thought that if we skipped that little G sharp and we went straight for the ninth, we would have this dissonance in here, which would kind of remind us of that dissonance right here. Everybody loves some dissonance now and then, right? So until now we have something like... The next part is pretty much our first part, just an octave up. So very slowly till now we have... And in this part we pretty much go for our Hungarian minor scale. We go C, D sharp, E, F. And then we do the same pattern, C, D sharp, E, F, but we play G sharp, A. So again, very slowly, here's the lick. As you may have noticed, I used mainly pentatonic slash blue scale on this lick, but this is, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, something you can use from one scale to the other. We started out by just a pentatonic lick, and we ended up with a pretty Hungarian minor lick. And there were tons of things I could have done. For instance, instead of repeating the first lick an octave up as the third passage, I could have done something more Hungarian minor-ish, like... Which sounds a little bit more exotic than just playing... Or I could have done something like... Or even doing something like... Which again is more Hungarian minor inspired. The sky is the limit with this sort of thing. Let's say that we only use... I don't know, let's say that we only use Dorian, for instance. We would get a lick like... There really are tons of things you can do with this sort of a thing. And in some contexts, using a scale like the Hungarian minor scale probably wouldn't be very politically correct. And if you wanted to mix your minor pentatonic scale with something like, I don't know, your Lydian scale, you'll probably get a crazier sounding lick. Because when I pick the Dorian scale, and then we picked our Hungarian minor scale. Those scales have a lot of notes in common. All the three scales have the notes A, C, and E. All the other notes, like in the Hungarian minor scale, we had that D sharp and that F. Or in the case of the Dorian scale, we have that F sharp. Those are just color notes. And if you wanted to mix your minor pentatonic scale, with something like, I don't know, your Lydian scale. Those scales only share the notes A and E. So you'd get a pretty weird sounding scale. In fact, you'd get like, what, a 10 note scale? You'd have to be really careful when crafting licks. But hey, that's where most of the fun comes in. So I guess I'd give you a challenge. If you either learn the lick I showed you, or for some reason you build a lick like this yourself, Please share it on Instagram and tag me on it. I would really love to see what you guys make out of this. Not only will I see it, but I'll repost it and tag you on it. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you in any way possible. And if it was, please leave me a comment below. Do you have anything to add to this discussion? Did you agree? Did you not agree? Was there something I missed? Something I should have said? Also, if you have any suggestions for videos, I have this dedicated series called The Eight, You Ask, I Teach. I know, pretty bland, generic, and self-explanatory title, but whereas the name implies, I pretty much teach anything you guys leave in the comment section below. Well, the guitar and our music related, of course. The first three episodes are already out. The fourth episode is on its way. We've touched on very different things, so there's probably something you can learn from at least one of those videos. They also do some other videos, sometimes talking about a specific lake from a famous guitar player or something that is either, I don't know, a little bit different or just pure awesome. Like for instance, I don't know, how Eric Johnson turned a big mistake into an awesome lake.
and sometimes I also do videos breaking out techniques or music theory concepts so that many of you can understand in a way that I find particularly easy. Like for instance, I don't know, learn all of the pinging techniques and perhaps get a girlfriend just by learning this one riff. Or even maybe using anime to learn about all time signatures. So yeah, there's tons of stuff you can check out on my channel. And yeah, I guess that's it. Again, thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on all the notifications. Please share this video on social media, I highly appreciate it. And since you're there, follow me on social media. It would be really cool if you guys could leave some comments for my 8 series. You can only keep that series going if you guys leave comments. And yeah, cheers! Oh,